Hello and welcome to a video all about how to take notes on Noodle Tools note cards. Okay, so what you've done already, you found World Book Encyclopedia on the School Library website. You found an article on World Book Encyclopedia that relates to your research topic, your person. You cited it in Noodle Tools, meaning you made a source and you put the information in of what that source is. Now you're ready to read and take notes. So let me show you. Here's my article. What I'm going to do now is I am going to go back to my citation and I want you to look where it says note cards. Okay. Note cards. I want you to click new next to the source that you're using. So this is for that source that I was just on for this one right here. And now I see my blank note card. I know it has some things in the boxes, but it's a little bit of helpers. So this box is direct quotations. Co copy, paste, and annotate here. Capture the author's words and images. Get quotes and attribution rate. Mark up the quote by coloring and highlighting the text. So if you see something you want to use word for word, if you see a picture that you might want to use in your slideshow, put it right there. Um, those are times when you're like, I want this exactly. I don't want to put this in my own words. Now, mostly I would suggest that you use the direct quotation for images and any, a few quotes. I say a couple, just a few quotes. Then over here we have paraphrase or summary. This is where we put the information in our own words. Now I want to show you when I click on this, I can create bullets or numbers. I can put in a bulleted list. And I would like you to take notes on your source using bullets. That's my recommendation. Okay. You could use numbers as well. Then down here, we have room for original thinking. Let me move my face here so you can see what this says. It says, how does this fit with what you know? What do you wonder? What can you follow up on? Okay. Um, I believe yours might have slightly different things written in those boxes because I made you a slightly different questions. But this is where you might ask yourself, what didn't I not, what didn't I understand? What do I need to do next? What's, what's missing? Or do I have any ideas for my presentation, what I might include from this? Okay. So I'm going to show you a tip that I use. If I grab a tab, I can bring it to the side. I have a, a PC, so it lets me do this. And then I can put the other article on the other side. I'm going to make this go away. So I can do a side-by-side -side of note cards here. It didn't make it half page though. There we go. Come on work. There we go. All right. So here I've got my window. I might even make it a bit smaller. Oops. Okay. So here I have my two windows. If this is helpful to you to do them side by side on a Mac, you could just grab the window, make it a little smaller so that they're side by side. Yeah. So I can sort of go back and forth from both. So what I'm going to do now, this wasn't what I wanted. I want this. Okay. Here's my article. This is the one I'm taking notes on. So I'm going to read this article and I'm going to put the information in the note card. So first off, I want to show you, I've decided I would like to take one of these pictures. Where did the picture go? I'm in the oh, media. So if you click media, Ooh, I really like this picture. I think I'm definitely going to use this. So I'm going to drop it into this box. Should work. So let's see, can I copy, wait, copy image. There we go. Paste work. Yes. So now I've got that picture there. Uh, let's go back. Um, now there's other things in here. I might want them. I don't know yet. I'm going to keep reading. So I'm going to read this article. When I find something that I think is important and I want to write down. So if you remember our three things you need to present on in your slideshow are background, achievements, significance, why the person matters, why they matter. So as I'm reading, I'm going to look for background achievements and significance. Okay. I might even separate my notes like that mm. background. Now let me add a list. Whoops. I want the next one. I could actually do this. Here we go. Background. So she was born, she lived from 1533 to 16. Oh, three important queen of England, queen from 1558 to 1603. Hmm. Golden age. 
Ooh, great achievement. So I'm noticing that maybe I've got something here for my next topic, achievement. Um, golden age. It doesn't say why. Let's see. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Achievements. English established a moderately Protestant church of England as the country's national church. At the same time, she long avoided war. Hmm. Achievements. Oops. Sorry. This should have been. There we go. Achievement. Golden age avoided war with European countries. Uh, established a church. Notice I'm not writing every word. I'm not retyping or copying and pasting every here, everything here. Um, I'm just boiling it down to its most important information. Um, da, 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 da. Ooh, economy was good. It says your economy prospered, defeated Spanish fleet. I think I'm probably going to get more information on this later. I think this is kind of a summary. So I'm thinking to myself as I'm reading this, like what defeated the Spanish fleet? What, what, what does that mean? I'm going to read later. England's economy prospered. Elizabeth's court became a center for musicians, scholars, and writers. Music, scholarship, writing. Okay. Uh, Elizabeth was a strong and clever ruler. I feel like that's background. I'm going to go up here. Strong and clever. Um, she succeeded in furthering England's interests despite, okay. Do you see what I'm doing here? So for example, I'm going to kind of skip ahead. You're going to keep reading through the article, adding your notes. If there comes a time when you're like, I like that quote, especially if for me, I'm thinking if I can find a quote that she actually said, that might be cool to include in my presentation. Then I might want to copy and paste that. Let me see if I can find one. Um, I'm just going to pick something random just to show you where to put it. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. So let's say, um, let's say I really want, uh, let's see a quote here. Sorry. This one, let's say I want this quote. I'm like, I want to use this word for word in my presentation. It's got to be really important. Like I really want that. I don't want to say that in my own words. I want to quote it. I'm going to do control C. I'm going to come in here to the box. That's all about, sorry, this thing is so in the way. Um, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do quotation, control V quotation. Yeah. So that's word for word. The quotes remind me that I didn't think of that. The, Whoever wrote this article wrote that, okay? Now, at the end of the article, I'm gonna ask myself, like, what more do I wanna know? I want to know more about the Spanish Armada. I want to know more about her speeches. I want to know more about how she never got married. Because this is gonna help me think, what's the next source I want to find? What's the information that I want to dig around for? Because in my next source, I may not write down her birthday again. I may not write down things I've already written down. I want to add something to it, but I want to remember from this source, what did I want to say more? Or, um, you know, maybe I have other ideas like, uh, use the, um, images from this in my presentation, like just a note to remind myself, like I have an idea, I have an idea for my presentation. Okay. So now um, I'm going to scroll back up here. Uh, I'm going to make this big again, just so I can see what I can see. And I'm going to now click save and close. Now, if you notice, here's my source. Now it says zero one. I have a note card for this one. Okay. If I have to stop because class is over or there's some sort of interruption, I want to come back to this source tomorrow and continue. Don't click new because now you're going to have two note cards. That's confusing. You want to come back to the original note card, click right there. And then it's going to bring it up right there. Okay. And if I want to edit it, I'm going to click options, edit, and I'm back in it. I'm ready to keep going with my source. Does that make sense? Okay. So now you have been reminded or you've learned how to use Noodle Tools note cards for a source that you've added. Happy researching.